Imagine a world where you can just type yell bat who ate uh, who ate all the pizza and then instantaneously you've got a Batman meme ready to go. So if you want to know how this works you can just look at the uh, github repo which I will have in the description uh, but I'm going to walk you through it right now. So what yell bat is is it's just a bash script and uh, we'll go through it line by line but uh, fundamentally I just want you to understand how it works so what we're going to do is we're going to take in some text, right? Who ate all the pizza? We're going to send it off to a meme generating website. They're going to send us back a URL of the created meme. We're going to download that URL. And then in my case, I'm throwing it into my clipboard so I can paste it wherever I want. Okay, let's go through the script very quickly, uh, line by line. So first we're setting it to be bash. We want this to be bash, not just sh. Uh, line 14. We're here basically saying uh, that we want any errors to happen immediately. So if something fails, end the script, right? If there's a variable that is not defined, end the script. We basically want this thing to fail hard uh, if it is going to fail, as opposed to kind of limping along, uh, which would not be great. On line 18, we are saying that I want to hard code the template to the Batman template. In theory, this could work with other templates, but I don't think it would be as good as the Batman template. On line 21, I'm just setting up a location where I'm going to temporarily store the memes uh, when I curl them down before I throw them into the clipboard. Line 24 and 25 here, what I'm doing is I'm sourcing the username and password from the environment. So if I want to ask for a meme, I have to pass along my username and password. I don't want to include this. I don't want to hard code it in this script because then it'll be in Git, right? So I've set environment variables and now I'm just sourcing them. Line 28 is actually kind of cool. So what we're doing is we're reading the value of the dollar sign one variable, right? So one, which would be the first argument. What if there is no argument? So because I have this uh, set dash U, no unbounded variables, if there is no one, my script is gonna crash. So by doing this, I have a default of nothing. So text is either gonna be the value passed in or nothing. The next few lines are just saying, okay, if we don't have a username or password or text, we're going to echo out an error message and then we're gonna exit on line one. All right, so, so far all we've really done is set up a bunch of variables. Now here's where the actual action happens. So we're going to curl and we're gonna pass in some data uh, and we're passing in the template, the username and the password and uh, the text that we want. And the text is gonna be whatever we've passed into this function. And then here's the URL that we're using. And this uh, this to, to dev null, what I'm doing is with curl, if you make a curl request, all the information, a lot of the information you see uh, is actually on standard error, and I don't want that to show uh, when I'm running this from the terminal. I'll give you an example of that in a second. Now, the output I get from line 49 isn't great, so on line 52, I'm cleaning it up, so I get just the URL where that new meme that I've created is actually hosted. On line 55, I'm now downloading that meme, and on line 58, I'm copying that into my clipboard. Now, this is a Wayland specific thing, and it's kind of messy dealing with copy queue. It's a bunch of stuff. You don't have to do it like this. And if you're on a more sane operating system, you'll have something better happening here. Last, I actually print out the URL just so I can see it in case I don't want it just in my clipboard, but I want to go visit the website. All right, so let's try this thing out. So I'm going to call yellbat and this is going to be the argument and let's see what happens here. So it does a bunch of stuff and then I get this URL. So if we visit this URL, you'll see this is our meme. And uh, you know, I think it looks, it looks pretty good but I also have it in my clipboard as well. Uh, so if I go over here, I guess I'll have to close this out first and then uh, paste it, there we go. I have it in my clipboard as well. Now I had mentioned uh, that curl is actually pretty noisy and I have stuff redirecting to dev null. But if I take that out, I can just show you what that looks like. If we do yell bat no, see I'm getting all of this stuff, right? Curl spits this out on standard error because you don't actually want to deal with that, that stuff. So it's a, it's a good way for curl to say, here's, here's what's happening in the background. It's not really an error. Right? But that way, if you are piping it into something else, this stuff will never get piped in, right? Because you you don't normally take the standard input into the pipe. Anyway, it's a whole thing. I don't want to show it. Okay, I've made some modifications uh, to yell bat now just to show you how powerful this thing actually is. So uh, if we look in here, I've got some song lyrics to a song that you probably don't know. But uh, when I was much younger, this song was on the radio all the time. Radio is the thing that uh, sucked a lot. So. Anyway, I've got this thing here now, and if I if I run yell bat, uh, and I have this Batman directory here, you can see that it's making these images, and what this is, this is Batman singing the lyrics to that song. So if I go over here, uh, oh, there he is, he's, he's kind of hidden behind there. But you see, this is the story of a girl, uh, and then I can do it again on, uh, let's say, number five. 
and uh, boom, there's Batman when she smiles. So there you see him. All right, so basically it's generated a bunch of Batman gifts, uh, him singing the lyrics of uh, a terrible song from 20 years ago. Okay, and how does that even work? Uh, let's take a look here. So uh, basically I'm getting rid of the, uh, there's no more like reading an argument in, so we should call Yellbat. I set up an, an iterator here, so one, and then I'm reading the lyrics and uh, I'm using the lyrics as the, the what I'm gonna tell uh, the image website to make, the meme website to make, and then I use the same uh, line uh, to name the file, but I put the iterator at the front just so it's easy to keep them in order and I can just LS and see them in order. Then line 53, I increase the iterator uh, just so that we're going one, two, three, four, five instead of one, 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 which would be terrible. Yeah, so hopefully you're convinced that this was uh, a good use of my time.